Now, your local Storm Tracker 2 forecast. Welcome back, everyone. As you may notice, I am not in my normal spot in the Crime 2 studio. We are actually outside in the Spokane Valley at Duluth Trading Company's opening of their first store in the state of Washington and their 50th store around the country. So we're here for their grand opening that happens at 9 a.m. There's a ribbon cutting and a lot of fun events happening the over the course of the day. One of those things is right behind me where we're going to do some sign. You can already see them getting to work out here. This is the kind of stuff that's going to be going on all day here in the valley. Uh, you could come out and enjoy all of it throughout the day. Again, that ribbon cutting happens at 9 a.m. and various events happening throughout the day. Uh, but you can see all the fun before the sun even makes its way up. So what I want to do uh, as we let's we can watch this first one drop and then we'll talk about the forecast. There we go. Thank you guys. All right. So uh, as far as the forecast goes, I want to start off with what we've got outside. You can see a look at all the watches and warnings in effect to start off our Thursday morning. There are a lot of them. So right now we have uh, a lot of color on the map, meaning that there's different flood warnings. Uh, there are uh, different watches and warnings related to winter weather over the passes. So just something to keep in mind going over the next few days that we still have plenty of active wet weather around us, and that is likely not going to be coming to too much of an end over the next seven days at least. Uh, what we see on satellite radar shows that there is still some wet weather making its way through North Idaho and uh, through especially just south of uh, I-90, making its way through areas like Moses Lake and passing on farther east. Snoqualmie Pass is seeing a little bit of trouble this morning. We saw some active snowfall earlier, but it doesn't look like too much of that is sticking to the roads. If anything, we are likely just going to see some trouble related to uh, some slush on the roadways, especially over those mountain passes. So it's a good idea to check over those cameras before you head over any of those mountain passes, just to make sure that you're not going to be seeing any trouble. Otherwise, south of Snoqualmie uh, over those Cascades, we're expecting the possibility of six additional inches of snow. That is why it's a good idea to check over those ca uh, passes cameras first. Uh, current wind speeds right now, a little bit slower than we saw them yesterday. Yesterday we were in pretty much the 20 mile per hour range almost across the board. Now we're going to be seeing those numbers steadily decrease as the day goes on, but still kind of remain breezy. Future Tracker is showing all that wet weather around us, so uh, we're not seeing too much of a stop in this active weather, but otherwise just moving towards scattered rain showers. Uh, the snow level right now is above about 4,000 feet. So if you are above 4,000 feet, expect snow below 4,000 feet, which is most of us expect that to come in the form of rain and just scattered. Now the next seven days shows that wet weather through the, the time period and really where we're seeing most of these showers centered are over the Idaho Panhandle and over uh, the southeast corner of Washington. So just something to keep in mind over the next couple days. It is dry in Spokane to start off the morning. We will stay dry for a good portion of the day, but there is some wet and active weather moving its way in. All right, back here. We are at Duluth Trading Company, the opening of their first store in the state of Washington and their 50th store. Uh, and we have a little demonstration here. Yes. I believe I'm going to participate. Is that right? You are. Okay, so could you just tell me a little bit about what I'm doing here? You are doing a Jack and Jill crosscut saw. You're going to okay. stand parallel to the saw just like I am right here. Okay. Yep, turn yourself around there. Okay. You're putting your right hand on the bottom there. Right hand on the bottom. Nice wide base. And all you're doing is pulling. So she'll pull and then you'll pull back. Okay. Oh. So you pull, pull it straight back. Yep. There you go. Just like that. There you are. All right. So again, that ribbon cutting happens at 9 a.m. here. And there's going to be these kind of fun demonstrations all day long. Oh, we're like halfway there, huh? <laughs> do you guys do this all day? We do. Wow. It's a good workout for It us. is a good workout. Oh, we're so close. I think you guys might have been quicker. <laughs> All right, Evan, we will come back to studio here. Maybe give your arms a little rest because that looks like it's a tough workout this morning. It's only 517. It is, Jen. <laughs> hey, but bring me back some firewood. I could use some. All right, Evan, thank you so much. It is 518 now.